Live, this is Heart of Illinois ABC News at 10. Local, social. Not one, but two rounds of storms in the next 24 hours. I'll tell you all about it after the break. Dry conditions, so you're going to want to turn on your sprinklers. I'll tell you when the next rain chance is. At around 7.30 p.m., right around dinner time, or just when you're getting done with dinner, we might see some more isolated showers. We become uncomfortable by the end of the week. Temperatures are on fire by Friday through the weekend. Watch out for any motorcycles on the road, but for tomorrow, we're looking at a high 94 degrees. Hot and humid, but sunshine for everyone. We saw a beautiful day. It was dry, but dry conditions? are not for long. We are going to see some rain chances, but right now 77 in Peoria and 74 in Bloomington Normal. We are staying dry, which is a good thing, but now as we head into the night, what we are looking at are these storms right over here to our west. So it may not look like much, but we are tracking that warm front. These storms are going to develop off of the warm front. It's burning up like the Jonas Brothers. So you know, hot. Or you could say it's, you know, sizzling like a sparkler. Today. Sizzling like a sparkler. <laughs> yeah, and this will not be you. You will not be the guy from Mission Impossible. You will not be running down the streets. That will not be happening over the next few days. So, like I said, that's just round one. We get a break and we have round two by Monday evening. The same risk, damaging wind gusts, heavy rain with the storms, and flash flooding. Depending on how much rain does come down with this, that's going to be between late afternoon tomorrow into tomorrow night. Hot, so steamy day out there today. Is there any relief coming in the future? Oh, there's relief, and we got rain tonight, so that's okay. that's a good relief. But you know, rain and heat may not be a good mixture, but we're not expecting any severe weather. Welcome back. We've got ourselves another scorcher out there today. Yeah, it's definitely hot. You might be able to cook an egg on the street if you might have to try, try that yeah, later. I know this someone afternoon. sent us a photo and actually do that. We can see if you can cook an Most egg. Heat index, yeah. we could see up to 104 degrees for tomorrow. That's why this is a severe risk because the storm will fuel off of this. You can see that line. We are cooling down once that cold front does come through. What does is that pushes cold air south. So we're in the middle of this. We're in the good part. We want to be in the good part. Unless you want cold air, then I'm sorry. I can't grant that for you, but that's going to stick around over the next week. And you're really going to like this. We are sitting right around average. There's only two days on Tuesday and Wednesday. We are getting above average, but Thursday sitting right at average. And the other days, we are below average. So you can see that cold front's making way. It's giving us just a bit of rain. We might see some rain by Tuesday night. But your best chance is by Tuesday morning. You can see that cold front comes us through a little bit more and it gives us rain by the afternoon. I expect more p.m. showers rather than a.m. showers on Wednesday though. So right around dinner time we should start seeing a lot of that rain. See, but a little definitely bit muggy out there today. Is it going to get better? Is it going to get worse? What are you looking at? It's going to get miserable. Wonderful. Just <laughs> how we like it. Yeah, we're just going to put it right out there. It's going to be miserable for the next two days because we do have the heat return up to almost 100 degrees. We are going to cool down. You can see those temperatures right now. This is around 1 a.m. We are cooling down. That's good because the storm does fuel off of heat. So this is round one from midnight until Monday morning. You can see it to our west. That storm is coming right through 2 a.m. It's a slow mover. So we are seeing just temperatures sitting in the low to mid 80s. And if you didn't know, today is National Chicken Wing Day. So go get some wings for today. It's definitely a good night. Look at those temperatures. We do decrease down to the 70s for a low, but those showers that we are going to see just later tonight do stay out of the way. So if you want to get those chicken wings, they will stay dry. 77 degrees in Peoria, 74 in Bloomington Normal, down in Havana, 71 degrees. So we are lowering as we head into tonight. But look at those dew points. That We have dew points in the 70s, the lower 70s, Cannon, 69 degrees. But that's a bit high, so it's going to be a bit muggy as we head throughout tonight into tomorrow. Normal 78 degrees today's high. Highs were 92 in Peoria. Most places just saw in the lower 90s, but that heat index was a bit high with 105 degrees. But your comfort cast, we are humid tomorrow. It's going to be a bit muggy, but right after that, we are getting to comfortable conditions. But I want to remind everyone, your flood safety, about one foot of water can actually lift a vehicle, and two feet of water, look what it does. It does swift away a car, so make sure if you see any roads that have a lot of water, Turn around, don't drown. It's not worth it. It's because of this upper level pattern we have going on. We have this high pressure system, which is pushing more warm air because of the ridge that's going on here. But when we fast forward to the end of the week, the high pressure system goes away and we're sitting slightly under a trough, which is going to push a little bit more cold air from Canada down here. But 
it's not going to cool us down by much. It's still going to be quite hot. That's over in 60 miles per hour that was expected. Some areas even saw about 75 mile per hour, even 80 mile per hour in some areas. Marquette Heights saw 1.8 inches around just before 8 p.m. tonight. Pekin saw around 8.50 p.m., so just before 9 p.m., a tree down is reported on a house in Pekin. So not far from East Peoria, so definitely a little strong wind gusts for knocking some stuff down. But in Morton, it was reported 76 mile per hour thunderstorm wind gusts around 8.45 p.m. So that wasn't long ago. That was just a little bit over an hour ago. Oh, ABC, a little bit muggy out there today. Is it going to get better? Is it going to get worse? What are you looking at? It's going to get miserable. Wonderful, just how we like it. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to put it right out there. It's going to be miserable for the next two days because we do have the heat return up to almost 100 degrees. That's right. Some of us like it back. hot. So. But the heat indices, not the actual temperature, but it's going to feel like 100 degrees. But let's talk about what we saw today. So today's forecast, we actually saw 84 degrees. Good thing is that's actually right around average for what we see for this time of the year. But we do start increasing in temperature for this week. And as always, at least we didn't break the record in 1930 of 101 degrees. Local temperatures, though, 77 degrees in Peoria, 74 in Bloomington Normal, down in Havana, 71 degrees. So we are lowering as we head into tonight. But look at those dew points. That We have dew points in the 70s, the lower 70s, Cannon, 69 degrees. But that's a bit high, so it's going to be a bit muggy as we head throughout tonight into tomorrow. So what to expect overnight? It's going to be quite muggy right around 1 a.m., 4 a.m., mostly cloudy, but still muggy, 72 degrees. And your low is going to be 70 degrees overnight. But then for tomorrow, the heat does return. So notice here, 75 right around 8 a.m., but it does start getting hot and humid by noon into the afternoon hours because those heat indexes are going to get up to almost 100 degrees. So even though the temperature is going to be 87, it's going to be hot because of those heat, heat indices for tomorrow, but we also have rain in the forecast. So for tomorrow, no, no chance of rain, but moderate chance on Monday and a slight chance right after that. So we do have daily rain chances in the forecast, but you're more likely to see rain on Monday. So for tomorrow, we do stay dry. We may see a stray shower or two, but you're more likely to see the shower right around Monday morning, late Monday morning into the afternoon hours. So this is right around 1 p.m. On Monday, you can see the showers. So I expect more places south of Peoria. It's going to see a little bit more dry. More places north of 74 are going to see more heavy rainfall. But that doesn't mean uh, Lincoln won't see any rain. You're just going to have less rain amounts. So right around the afternoon, early evening hours, Bloomington Normal is going to see that rain as that cold front passes over us and those temperatures do start decreasing. By Monday night, we are cooler and staying dry. But here's your comfort cast. We are miserable Sunday and Monday. A bit muggy on Tuesday, but get to comfortable conditions by Wednesday and Thursday. We are seeing miserable conditions because the summer heat does return. Look at tomorrow. We get up to about 95 degrees. It might see, we might see some places up to almost 100 degrees for that heat index and almost 100 by Monday. But we get back down to normal by, by Tuesday. So 70 degrees for a low tonight, a bit muggy out. And tomorrow, looking at 89 degrees for a high. Freezy hair conditions because of all the humidity and that heat indices in the forecast. And also right after Sunday, daily rain chances, some in the morning.